Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to make a Frankenstein character in a mad scientist laboratory, and we're going to run through a few Leonardo models to see which one looks the coolest. So let's go ahead and do this. So my prompt is going to be Frankenstein in a mad scientist laboratory. And I'm going to say only one character because if I don't then sometimes it will throw in a mad scientist or something like that. So the settings that I have here it's a Leonardo creative, Leonardo style, and prompt magic and high contrast for anybody that uses Leonardo. For those who don't, let's just, just have a look at the quality of images that it can produce. I'm also going to use Leonardo diffusion and I'm going to also use RPG and we'll also try and Dream Shaper version 6. So we should have some images coming back. Let's check them out. Pretty cool. Let's see. There is Frankenstein in a mad scientist laboratory. That one is really neat too. I like the face. That one I kind of like the most so far. Really nice. I like the graduation on the cylinder and everything and um, that's a pretty cool one too more to me of like a Dr. Jekyll kind of face so that's really neat though let's see your next set here these are the Leonardo Diffusion that is straight out of a comic book I th feel like it looks more like a mad scientist than Frankenstein same with all of these but as far as the overall style I really like the graphic novel sort of style that is super cool in there that might be a winner. Let's see what else we have here. RPG4. So that to me is a classic Frankenstein looking face. Love the face that they put in that bottle. This could also be a winner. Love that one. That looks like friendly Frank. He's kind of like, hey, what are you up to? Look at how many fingers he has. Many, many fingers. And here, it didn't provide two figure or it provided two figures even though I specified one. I'm not sure who Buddy is. Let's see, let's see what else we have. These are Dream Shaper version six. Very cool. I wish there was more definition in the eyes. That one, he is not a Frankenstein. That looks pretty Franky. And that looks also like a Frankenstein-like figure. So if I were to pick one of these overall, I would say that this is a Frankenstein. I love that action. I'm going to go ahead and upscale this with, we'll use the crisp upscaler. And then why not take the higher resolution image over into Photoshop and turn this into a full screen scene? might as well that is just super cool I hope that the upscaling doesn't take away too much of the definition of things so there we go upscaled love the red eyes and we still have a nice face in the vessel there so I'm gonna download that one and we will open him up in the Photoshop and let's see what we have for pick for pixels it's 1744 tall so I'm going to make it roughly 3,300 pixels wide. And let's go ahead and give him some space to grow. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Adobe Generative Fill to fill out this canvas. I'm going to look here to see if there are any obstacles or things that I want to select around. I'm thinking that I want to get on the other side of that object all the way up. And on this side, it doesn't really matter so much. Maybe down to halfway through the vessel so that it continues that and doesn't try to interpret it as something else. So I'm going to go here and make my selection. So this was the area that I was referring to that split that bottle and we avoided that object. That's perfect. So 
Now what we need to do is if we hit generate to fill and then generate on this, it's going to fill in that section. We want the opposite. So we hit the invert selection button. Now it's these two areas that are going to be filled. Generative fill button, generate button. And I didn't give it any specific prompt instruction because we just wanted to fill out the image based on the existing artwork. So it's going to look at the and analyze the pixels that are in the image and then make a prediction of what pixels should fill it out. And that really pops. Number two, number three. I love number one. In numbers, in, well, in all of them, you can sort of see where it added on. And it's almost like a, they've either added, it's either added sort of shadow or just dark pillars on either side. So number two, I don't care for as much. So number three or number one? I'm going to go with number one because number three has this green glow over there that's distracting. I could remove that. But I think that that is a really cool image. Let's check this out full screen. There we have Frankenstein in a laboratory. And it did make him somewhat of the mad scientist. That's fine. I think it look, looks great. I think this is a super cool element. And yeah, I'm really happy with that, how that turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And I will see you the next time.